This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in a cross country race. Ladies and gentlemen, this was a European cross country championships and it was a cross country race in the snow. As you could see here, it looks like a random guy just running around a race course. But no, he's actually leading the race by over 10 seconds. Fast forward 3 minutes and he's got an entire 100 meter lead on the rest of the group. This is the Italian runner, Lali. He was not the favourite of this race, however he made such a gutsy move that a lot of the spectators couldn't even believe what he was doing and actually started laughing at him. I couldn't believe that he was running so fast early on, but from time to time he was taking glances back which showed that he was very nervous and almost panicking. At this part in the race, he also still had around about two and a half miles remaining, so he had to try everything he could to hold it together and maintain the fast pace he was still running. Athletes behind were basically waiting to hunt this guy down, and he was all by himself around 100 meters ahead. Usually in these types of situations, we also see them in cycling races, the athlete will be swallowed up by the group as the runners behind can work together drafting the wind and taking turns on pacing. Lali has no one to run with, he has no one to pace him, he has no one to draft the wind for him, he is doing it all himself and he is expending way more energy than the guys behind him. So we're waiting for the splits to come through for the chase pack, Lali going through just under 7k in 21 minutes here, he's still looking pretty damn strong, I'll be totally honest with you, he looks bouncy, he looks fresh and he looks pretty light, he's quite a short cross country runner with fairly stocky legs, 14 seconds behind his second place, that is basically an entire 100 meter difference between the chase pack and Lali, the leader of the European Championships. Of course this race was many many years ago, which is my excuse for why the footage is so bad and pixelated, I apologise, but many people missed this performance and I believe it deserves way more recognition as what Lali did was truly breathtaking. Stay tuned to see just what he does and whether they catch him or whether he ends up winning. Lali was pulling away, at times he was actually gaining on some of the runners up ahead who he was due to lap on the course, yes that's right you heard me, runners he was going to lap in the European Cross Country Championships. Some of the guys trying to chase him were Team GB Steve Vernon, uh, Jonathan also, we had Spanish runners, Italian runners also from Lali's team, we had some Turkish runners, we also had a couple of Turkish runners born in Kenya who were now representing Turkey and we also had Mo Farish training partner Bashir Abdi. So here we go, you didn't believe me? Well Lali is now lapping guys, there we go, this guy is absolutely superhuman, I cannot believe what I'm watching right now. How did this video only have a thousand views on YouTube? Guys share this video, it deserves way more recognition, way more views. Lali was still maintaining a lead of around 100 meters on the other runners, and at times he was just making this look so easy. I couldn't understand or even fathom how he was running well under 5 minutes per mile pace on snow without even breaking a sweat. His form looks strong and he has surprisingly stocky and muscular legs for a long distance runner, with the majority of them having rather skinny legs. If anything, he looks like he has more bodybuilder style legs, which could possibly help him in running up the hills, but could hinder him because of how heavy he may be for running over long distances. As you can see, Lali has a longer gap now of around 20 seconds on the other runners. This indeed is over 100 meters and now means that he is pulling clear of the rest of the group. Never have I ever seen a much savage move. I'm, not, I'm just lost for words you guys, I never struggle to commentate races, but this one, I'm struggling. I've never seen such a dominant move like this, especially at a European cross country championships. Usually at European championships, the standards are very close because these are the fastest runners in the entire Europe. So why is it that this guy is making them look slow as if they are joggers or as if they are just out to run to lose some weight? 
24 and a half minutes on the clock and Lali is doing nothing but pulling away every single second. Also Farrell of Team GB, Mayushi of Italy as well as a top runner on Lali's team. You're looking at the team stats here. Spain are currently winning. You have uh, Team GB in the top three for the team medal standings. But I don't really care about any of that. I'm focused on Lali up the front here, wondering how far he is going to win by. I'm going to say 100 to 150 meters. Right now, he's still looking fresh. Is there a potential that the people behind could actually catch him? He only has one mile remaining in this race. If he can hold it together for the next five or so minutes, then he has won the European Championships without even breaking a sweat the guy is literally beating the field by a whole 20 seconds and there's no one within his sight in this situation lali must stay calm if he panics or realizes that he's gone hard too soon he will ruin his race he keeps checking behind however these aren't necessarily nervous glances i think he's still well in control and knows what to do if lali was to start slowing he would of course have no choice but to just move to the side for this entire group of runners to pass him. That's what most people watching this race thought was going to happen. The gap still 20 seconds as you can see here. Thomas Farrell who is in second. He is a Team GB runner, one of the fastest runners in England for cross country and he still cannot keep up with Lali of Italy. We have 26 minutes on the clock guys, there is only one lap remaining in this race and I have to say that I cannot believe what I'm watching. Not only has the gap stayed the same over the past one mile, it's gradually got bigger over the past two miles. What does this mean? Well potentially Lali could actually ease up on his pace but he would have to be very careful because he would keep having to check behind. As you can see here, there is still a gap of what I would say to be at least 18 seconds. It still doesn't quite look like they're closing the gap, and it still looks to me as if Lali is going to win this race. I am literally cheering him on. I am giving him so much support right now as he's continuing to lap runners once again. And after this, he is definitely going to be over the moon with a pretty crazy performance that he has managed to pull off. Maybe the cameras will give us a better view of the huge lead he currently has on the rest of the running pack. There we go guys, that is absolutely massive. And we're not talking a park run or a fun run race, we are talking a elite level European Championship race. You would see these kind of gaps at a fun run or your local park run, not at a European Final Championships. This is why a lot of people couldn't understand what was going on. Most of the crowd watching thought that he was going to slow down and be caught because he had mispaced it and that perhaps he would hit the wall too soon before the finish line. But there really were no signs of this. As we can look behind, the gap is not getting any smaller and Lali is in fact just maintaining a solid form, a solid pace and overall, although he is showing some signs of pain on his face, he still looks to be well in control. Here is the rest of the chase pack. Marishi is leading the chase pack now. Again, I reckon he is still now 20 to 25 seconds behind Lali. Now, Marishi may be a training partner of Lali and he'll know him well from the Italian cross country championships where they would have raced together. This type of course really is suiting Lali. He's doing such a good job of just pushing it. You can tell though, he is working damn hard right now. He is seriously pushing hard and it looks to me like although he's pushing hard, so are these guys. These are the chase pack and you can notice how the chase pack are actually completely split up now. Originally they're all compact and like one big unit, well now they're all strung out. So this shows that they are all struggling because someone in the chase pack has increased the pace. This someone being Mushi. There is only 400 or so meters remaining, that's a quarter of a mile until the finish and Lali is coming in, raising his hands, acknowledging the crowd and the supporters, which probably is pretty tough watching this kind of race with these freezing temperatures might I add. Here he comes in to lap something like his 20th runner and he is waving, he is sh I cannot believe this, this is unbelievable. Lali coming in, 100 meters remaining and he is looking absolutely strong as hell. 
I've never seen a guy wave around like this at the end of a European Championships and he does not look like he's out of breath at all. He looks like he is fully in control and could just continue running for another mile or two. Now he's playing with his gloves, he's pointing to show the time, he's just proving how big of a gap he has. He's slowing down, he's holding a flag, you could not make this up. It is almost humiliating to the rest of the field, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's something he's earned. He's allowed to do this, he's not being disrespectful, he is in fact doing something that he has earned. 30 minutes and 1 second to win that race. I cannot believe it. Let's see where second place comes in. Maybe they've shut the gap after he slowed down tons. Yes, they have just shut the gap 10 seconds later. Here we have Thomas Farrell. We have Mushi coming in for third place there for the bronze medal, Arakan of Turkey, and so on. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video.